Oh my god. Alright, guys, you gotta take a look at this. Alright, um, my friend Clara Seelberg, um, she tweeted this and oh my god. Alright, let's, let's get into this. Children as young as six are to be given compulsory self-touching lessons that critics say are sexualizing youngsters. Children as young as six are being taught about touching or stimulating their own genitals as part of classes that will become compulsory. You, you heard that right. Compulsory in hundreds of primary schools. Some parents believe the lessons, the part of, part of a controversial new sex and relationship teaching program called All About Me <clears throat> are sexualizing their young children. One couple told last night how they were dis so, so disturbed they withdrew their sons from lessons at a school where the program is already being taught. All About Me is being rolled out across 241 primaries in Warwickshire County Council, or country, county council and could be adopted by other local authorities next year as part of the government's overhaul of relationship and sex education. Family campaigners and religious groups warned that vague guidelines issued by the Department for Education meant schools could soon be providing sexual material to young children that many parents would consider inappropriate. <sighs> Even politicians who had supported the RSE legislation expressed concern. Tory MP David Davies said, I and many other parents would be furious at completely inappropriate sexual matters being taught to children as young as six. These classes go way beyond the guidance the government is producing and are effectively sexualizing very young children. Documents obtained by the Mail on Sunday detail how All About Me classes involve pupils aged between 6 and 10 being told by teachers that there are rules about touching yourself. An explanation of rules about self-stimulation appears in the scheme's Year 2 lesson plan for 6 and 7 year olds. Under a section called Touching Myself, teachers are advised to tell children that lots of people like to tickle or stroke themselves as it might feel nice. They are also instructed to inform youngsters that this may include touching their private parts and that while some may say this behavior is dirty, it is in fact very normal. However, the youngsters are warned it is not polite to touch themselves in public. Right. But if it's in in certain company, then they guess it's okay, you know. <clears throat> so they want to encourage this among friends, perhaps, is what I'm getting from this. <sighs> However, the youngsters are warned it's not polite to test themselves in public. It is an activity they, sh they should do when alone, in the bath, shower, or in bed. They are trying to encourage kids to masturbate. They are trying to encourage kids to masturbate. You don't need to encourage kids to masturbate. Obviously, they, they know that if they encourage them to do this, then they're going to catch them doing this in places where it's not appropriate. To be fair, if you're a kid, it's not appropriate. And it should be discouraged. The fact that you have adults who are shaping their minds, the figures who these kids are looking up to, they place a great deal of trust in them. They care about how they feel. These kids care about, you know, what kind of impression they make. They, they want to, to please their teachers, right, and their parents. And you have these assholes that are encouraging them in this way. This is way beyond just inappropriate. I'm not even going to finish the article. Um, it might not be even worth reading because the fact is it's already given the most important bit. The most important bit is Britain is a goddamned dystopia. It is a fucking dystopia. Why did no one write, run this by the parents? They would have shut it down. But no, it's a dystopia because maybe they can't run it by the parents. Now, 
I got I get that one incident in um, I forget where it was but um, it was an incident in in Britain where they were teaching kids about uh, I think it was called no outsiders or something like that <clears throat> or maybe it was no strangers but something like that and it was meant to be like a an LGBT diversity uh, class or something like that they were basically saying we're gonna teach your kids whether you like it or not about this kind of stuff Parents pulled their kids out of school. So there was a huge backlash from the Muslims, but it was also some Christians as well. And um, I think, yeah, parents should have a right to say, I'm not going to have my, my kid in this this class or, or whatever. It should be at the discretion of the parents if they don't want them exposed to that or not. This goes way beyond that. But what this really is, is exactly what the conservatives have said all along, that they mean to groom the youth. It is pedophilia. This is pedophilia. Make no bones about it. And the idea that parents aren't right now out on the street. Why, why this isn't... Well, let's check. Is this the top trending thing? I'm not seeing it as a top trending thing. Why is it not the most tweeted thing in the world right now? It should be. This should be absolutely everybody right now in the world to be talking about how fucked up Britain has become because no sane country, no... You have got to be the most depraved country in the world to tolerate that, to even... I don't know how that went past any, any, any board review. How did this happen? How the fuck did this happen so Britain needs a revolution and if they don't get one then they don't deserve it it's as simple as that if Britain does not revolt because of this exact shit then they're already a lost cause that I don't even give I don't even give two fucks about Brexit and I support Brexit I support the right to sovereignty but if this is how they're going to let themselves be ruled, because that's what they're doing, they're letting themselves be ruled instead of self-rule. If this is what they're in for, that they're okay with, then fuck them. Fuck any country. And if that happens in the U.S., you can bet your ass I'm going to protest that. I don't even have a kid. The fact is, if, there's, if this were to take root in my country, these are my countrymen. I will not tolerate this 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 is injustice this is this goes beyond corruption we're talking about stripping away the innocence of a child and it's all ostensibly innocent it's all oh but we're just being sensitive to kids and it's natural and blah 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 no sorry lots of things are natural rape is natural it happens in the animal kingdom all the time so does cannibalism that doesn't make it right we are more than animal. We are man, the race of man, which is to say human beings. What makes us separate from these animals is our morality. It is the development of our frontal lobe that gives us the capacity for a human conscience. But no, assholes like this would say, it's natural, go right ahead. Tell your kids not to, not to be discouraged. They, it's, it's bad for their sexual development. Fuck, fuck, fuck. Fuck them. I know this is a rant, but you need to do something. You need to say something. Everybody needs to say something. This is intolerable. Shut it down. England, get your shit together. Do you hear me? Anyway, I'm going to end this here. I, I don't know what else to say. I'm just so fucking pissed.